Hey yo, what's up guys, Long at Heel, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make beats in the style of Eat latest album After Life. After I hold the whole tape, I was super inspired and yeah, I decided to cook up some vibes in the, in the type of style. And yeah, today I'm gonna break down a sample first, then we're gonna hop on the drums and make a beat with it. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So yeah, first thing first, I'm gonna let you hear the whole sample, then we're gonna hop on the breakdown. So yeah, uh, I got the MIDI from Synthetic and I started with this brass type of sound in Serum. The preset is LD Brass Tex and yeah, it's from Synthetic and brought by Art of Adapt Serum Bank. Uh, this is how it sounds like. So yeah, I only added the shaper box as effects and the preset is pad dock. Without the effects, it sounds like this. So yeah, and uh, after I had the shaper box, I consolidated the, the whole file, the whole MIDI. After I had my audio file, I had it done RX950 to reduce like the sample rate uh, with the settings right here. Then I added an EQ to cut some of the, the highs. And yeah, after that, I added this pad right here. And I got this pad from Serum, from Gaul Generations Serum Bank. And uh, I added a portal and I used the preset from uh, me and only uh, Abyss uh, Portal Bank. It's called Gross Beat B2. I consolidated the whole MIDI and I turned it into a audio file. And uh, after that, I added a RX950. I reduced the sample rate here as well. Then I added a kickstart to give it you know, a little bit of sidechain and then some reverb. And this is the final result. So, up on the next sound, we got this one right here. And I got this one from Electro Hex. It's on the ARP rhythm section. And uh, yeah, I only added the portal, always with the longer, with the gross beat V2 from uh, the Abyss Portal Bank. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description if you want to check it out. And then I added an EQ to cut some of the lows, some of the highs. And I rendered out this one as well uh, as an audio file. I added an RX950 and I, I reduce uh, a little bit sample rate and this is the final result. So yeah, the last synth that I, that I added is actually a, a bass but it turned into a more sounding like a synth. This is what it sounds like. And yeah, I got this from Electro Hex, from the ARP single layer section. I added a shaper box, the pad dock preset, the one that we use on the, on the brass, and then uh, an EQ. And I cut a lot of the lows and a, and a lot of the highs. And yeah, I rendered out the, the synth bass into an audio file just to have, you know, a better control on it. But I didn't, hand, uh, I didn't add anything uh, as the effects. 
and uh, after that I I added two synth bass, the first one on the first half of the of the loop, and it sounds like this. And I got this one from Serum, from the Magnolia Vision Serum Bank. It's called Prometheus, and I added a thermal. Uh, the preset width and it, you know, just to make it, you know, uh, sounding bigger and uh, you know, with more low frequencies. And then I added a, an EQ, it cut some of the lows. And last one, this other synth bass that I added on the second part of the loop, and it sounds like this. Got this one from Serum as well, always from the same uh, bank. It's called Dropout, and uh, I added a thing, yeah, the same, uh, the same effects. So thermal and an EQ. And yeah, basically this is the whole sample. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy and learn something, and see you on the next one. Now we're gonna hop on the drums. What is good, y'all? Today I'm gonna be breaking down the drum parts of this beat. This beat was inspired from the new Heat project. I went with something more experimental. And yeah, Long got shot with this loop and we just went crazy. And let's take a look how it sounds. So firstly what I did was I chopped up the stems of the loop and I laid down a little arrangement. Don't get confused by this arrangement, I'm gonna talk about it at the end of the video. So what I did was I started off with this kick pattern and this is how it sounds. As you can hear it's nothing too crazy, I went with a 4 step pattern and I added this note right here to give a little more bounce and it actually sounds really good with the hi-hat and the clap pattern and this how it sounds with the clap pattern what I did was I laid down this uh, lower tempo clap Pattern. This is the placement if you are working, as you can see I'm working with a 100 BPM and this way it gives more bounce when you put your claps right here and not here. Because you usually put on trap beats right here but I went with this placement and I also added some notes as you can see and I added this little clap transition. And what I did was I laid down a bunch of claps and I selected these notes and I just made the velocity go from down to up like this it's nothing too special and this is how it sounds with the hi-hats it almost sounds like the usual yeet type hi-hat pattern it's nothing too crazy and yeah then I found this perk loop from Adiba and it works like an ear candy and it makes the whole drum pattern a little more exciting. As you can hear it has a lot of reverb on it and it sounds beautiful. Then I did this 808 from one of my drum kits and I just laid down this pretty basic pattern might look complicated but it is really not and let's take a look how it sounds most 
producers would say you should not lay down these lower 808 notes because it sounds really muddy but I found it really experimental and I went with it and it sounds dope so why you shouldn't use it you know what I mean and what I did was I laid down these notes whenever a kick would hit except from from here as you can see the kick hits right here and the 808 comes in earlier. I wanted to add more to the bounce so I added these slide notes right here and what I did was I cut the 808 in half and on the first two pattern I laid down these slides. Make sure to stay in the key with your slides. As you can hear it sounds really good with these lower notes and what I did was I wanted to leave some gaps for another 808 to come in to make it more variant and that's what I did. And I found this 808 from one of my drum kits and it works like a transition with the other 808 so this is how it sounds. Then I did this perk. It's nothing special. It's it's like a texture or something, it was from Roxo's kit, make sure to check it out. And I wanted to add more like a afro elements, so I added this perk to complement the other drums and this is how it sounds all together. All these drums sounds complicated together but one by one if you take a look at them it's nothing too special it's it's a really easy pattern so with the arrangement I use this mixer preset cut the lows from the loop and I added a little reverb right click on the EQ I created an automation clip whenever I wanted to pop the bass up to make it hearable I I just lower these automations as you can see so in the intro we have a bass coming in and later I remove the 808 so the kick plays with the original bass If you want to see more collabs on Loopside, make sure to leave a comment and let us know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And yeah, stay looped in. See you soon. Peace.